Hola amigos, welcome to Tarot My Love. We are going to do the morning quickies for our friend Scorpio. Scorpio for the 16th. Scorpio to of Pisces. Scorpio to Pisces. For the 16th, yeah. Okay. We shuffle already. Break them in half. Okay. We have the justice, sink into the, sand. the moon. And the magician, wow, um, and the, it's the nine, nine of cups. cups, so, yeah, um, wow, it's nice to be back at the beach, it's so calm today, let that be an overall energy of the just being calm, but this is the being happy and content, you know, this See. nine of cups, and so this is a Scorpio, it's a lot of Scorpios have Libra energy, but terms of relationships you're feeling a uh, Libra energy now so focus on relationships thinking about relationships weighing them in your mind this past retrograde of mercury might have been uh, particularly fruitful in terms of something but then the moon right now well this is the reason to watch a tarot reading the moon now something's hidden mm -hmm. in the shadows of the moonlight it's often something that's hidden in plain sight, so it's not a lie or anything. It's just uh, something you can't really put your finger on, you know, something you're not seeing. And I think it's important because it's standing in the way of your manifestation. And maybe the way you're feeling about relationships, maybe you sensed over time as you've grown that you realize there has to be a balance. You know, maybe... Before you kind of didn't get enough, there was a pattern, and now you want it to be even. Or um, maybe in the past you really gave less, and you're willing to give more. But either way, it brings this balance being very important around relationships. Now, i got to clarify the moon, because then what is it? Can you give us any idea, Spirit, what it is that our Scorpios here? Because I think once you have this, you'll be able to manifest that open up everything. Huh. So, Page of Pentacles, and you know, I love this page, it's so sincere, and um, this is a strong new beginning. Kind of what this means is like, whatever it is you think you don't know, just learn it. Whatever you think you think you can't do, just do it. Just take a step. The journey of a thousand miles uh, starts with a single step. I don't know how many thousand years that really in this Chinese grove, but that's what that is and you'll be able to manifest now you know it's not just that you're taking a single step you've already balanced the scales you know uh, you've done you you got the nine of cups you balanced the scales and really i think all it is this can also be fears the moon like mm -hmm. fears of the unknown is don't worry about it, just take that step you know but it's almost like the fool would not uh but with great deliberation like you, this step you think about but you take it and that's how you get to the magician Scorpio mm -hmm. so thank you very good amigo yeah okay all right um, now we're going to do the morning quickies or the quickies morning quickly morning the yes. quickly morning I like that too no what is the right morning one? quickies the morning quickies <laughs> for a bit to make a Scorpio which is the next the Sagittarius, our ah, favorite sign. Uh, I hope I cut myself off, but uh, I need to stand up for a minute. Okay. Uh, you don't need to see my big mug anyway. I think we got a good view of the sea. It's so calm today. Oh my God, the different colors of blue, different shades. Like emerald. Mm -hmm. oh, this is why they call the Costa Esmeralda. Emerald Coast. Emerald Coast, yeah. Nice. It's really calm, it's low tide too. And there's no, not cold. a lot of wind. Oh, very hot, see? see. Outside the shade, it's like crazy. It okay. almost like it's a Caribbean, babe. <laughs> Out here, you would think, huh? Okay. Wow. For our friend Sagittarius, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the. the oh. da -da -da. So it's kind of overall energy. I think there's someone that had to go through something, you know, some kind of change, difficult thing, mm -hmm. passage, uh, you know, transformation, call it. Sometimes you say transformation, and people don't know, it's like, 
you know, grow new skin. Okay. But, you know, some kind of hard happens and some little part of us has to die. <laughs> we have to the ego or something, right? Okay. But this could have been around you know, job, the pinnacles. So the coming into relationships is really on your mind that you want to be really stable and you know, have uh, all your pinnacles, your ten of pentacles energy. So, and, I, and this is you as you come into a relationship. So, maybe out of what happened to you, you still come away very stable, particularly financially. So, mm -hmm. this is the Sag that has that kind of on their minds. And then this is the energy from this place. And this place here, babe, maybe they weren't even thinking too much about a relationship at this point. Mm -hmm. They were just trying to get stable and get their pentacles See? together. Peace after what might have been a, a financial difficulty could have been brought about by a relationship but that's that's the story for the sag mm -hmm. and now this page of wands they decide to offer their cup of um to someone and they send a passionate message you know mm -hmm. and offer to someone mm -hmm. you know but the nine of wands yeah that's what it looks like they're going to maybe have to send a lot of messages and mm -hmm. they're just going to get tired. Let's see if there's it. Now they have one more message to send. So, mm -hmm. would they by one? Well, they can take one more action. So they're going to mm -hmm. take another, give another try to this endeavor, this relationship, probably, because they have. Look, they they had ten coins. Mm -hmm. So now you know we're at nine. <laughs> you could say ten. So it's kind of like ah, they maybe they got one more chance with this relationship. So I'm going to look at it. Yeah, it's a hair fan. So it's like, yeah, go for it. Oh, wow. For it. Yeah, but really uh -huh. go go for it. Like, you're going to have to go for the marriage. Mm. You know? And well, I would say, it's like that relation. would restore the um, their coins somehow. Right? Mm. Somehow. Maybe good so for a lot of rules friends. nowadays for marriage, born against financially speaking, but almost mm. somehow like that, like with this Sag. Mm -hmm. But okay, so this is the uh, morning quickies. Thank you, Sads, for Capricorn. It's uh, March 16th, 2021. Love and relationship advice from spirit, light, and love. The only side serves the greatest good. Here on the beach, where it is quiet and still. Capricorns, your readings will always now be on Fridays. We're kind mm -hmm. of scheduling, so Fridays are uh, Sag and Capricorn. Uh, every Friday, so we did it last Friday for the end of March. Okay. This Friday you'll get the uh, April reading. Yeah. Singles and couples, Pretty so nice. this relates. So, the energy of moving away, right, from probably a bad situation, and moving towards mm -hmm. the Ten of Cups. So. And this is all sorts, so in your mind, this is like, wow, I'm going to leave where I'm at. And the grass is really, I thought about it really hard, you know, and mm -hmm. weighed it, weighed it out. And the coins are usually, yeah, I mean, that's really thinking about it a lot. And even a lot of consideration, and even maybe financial angles in every way, like thinking it through. And you feel like you're going to get your ten of cups here. So, wow, this is a really straightforward uh, reading. I mean, you're manifesting here, Capricorn, by going for it. And you may be having to pull up everything out of the, uh, every uh, trick out of your hat. The magician has the hat full of tricks, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what they're doing here. You got the wands and the coins and the pinnacles and swords and cups. So, you know, and the emotional, uh, you have to take actions. You have to use your resources. You have to really use your mind and communicate as well. And, you know, it looks to me like you're going to make this happen. It's kind of spectacular. It's kind of amazing. See? You know, so. It's a good, good look. You know, yeah. That's going from the fire praying into uh, a really nice time and a great relationship, I'm thinking. See? Yeah, so, you know, you know, it happens. Sometimes that's a good reason to get out of the frying pan, I guess. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the morning wiki. For Aquarius. For Aquarius. March 16th, Aquarius. I'm going to look at uh, love and relationship advice from Spirit. Name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good. Um, what can we say that's going to be helpful, positive in some way, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me 
kept baking. I'm fine. Thank you. Ross doesn't drink on a jolly by day. Okay. Six of cups. Nostalgia. Nine of wands. Eight of wands. And the... Six of swords. I'll be down. Um, all that energy of moving away. And See? this is towards some kind of nostalgic feeling. So somebody from the past. So get some like similar messages, but they're very uh, the same kind of thing. It's like, well, you know, I think they've got a Venus retrograde coming up. Boy, that kind of stuff can go on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is like moving away. This could be even just in your mind. Even thoughts of this person. You know, you always, not always, but sometimes we rethink old things, childhood, relationships. Mm -hmm. A little romantically. Like, a little mm -hmm. better than it really was. Like, we don't tend to think, sometimes we think only of the bad things, but sometimes you don't, you know. Maybe like that. And you're having that energy, you know. And you're putting a lot of energy into this. So, um, it's almost like you, with this ones I see here, is kind of like them just a lot of efforts, like trying nine times. Like, oh, no, we're, we're making an effort here. And then, I think maybe connecting with the fire sign. I think that's what this is, Aquarius. And uh, connecting with a younger person in a passionate way. Where they see you, they're looking back at you here. Mm -hmm. And I could almost see here too, uh, Aquarius, where even though this is a younger person, uh, they're going to give you, instead of you having to use another one, because you only got one left, huh? You're on your knees, you're tired. Mm -hmm. You know, this person is really kind of like this. So they're looking at you. They're going to give you the wand. They're going to say, here, take my wand, Aquarius, and get up. And you'll be able to keep a wand. Oh, that's a little weird, but that's that's going to be important. They're going to literally give you some kind of strength, and, and it's very good. So um, this is kind of nostalgia, and it'll be uh, uh, you'll be invigorated by you know, the passionate connection that you have with this person, Aquarius. See. Sí. So really, I would love to know um, what an Aquarius might get out of that <laughs> if you relate or something, and hit like and appreciate it. Um, let me shuffle a little, just to a little bit on it. Yeah, I don't say it enough. It really does help. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And, okay. Mm, it's a peaceful day. Yeah, it's really nice today. Wind just kicking up. And you see the water like that on the Gulf. There's just no wind. Bathtub. Not that warm yet. Not yet. Give it a month. It's really hot today, friends, out there in that sun. Don't, don't be fooled. This is the tropics here. See. Si. Yeah. Okay. So. This is for. Pisces. Got to say. See. Si. So now Pisces, if you tune in, you can miss the last uh, few minutes of shuffling. We've been going a while. <laughs> But, uh, so Pisces is for March 16th, you're morning quickly. I know it's not morning, but, you know, work with us. Or do stick. We tried this morning. Machine so in the morning. What, what we found was uh, discretion sometimes is the better part of battle. I think is how we looked at that situation, and now we're back. And it's quiet now. See? Okay. Uh, so, eight of wands on the bottom. Fortune, it's your feelings around relationships. Uh, no, the page of swords, I call them the creepy page in this deck. What's going on there? Mm. It's causing trouble. There's a lot of activity, a lot of action. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a feeling on your part, Pisces, of rising up into your destiny. Maybe it's been kind of low energy or something for a while. And this page of swords. Bringing out that page of swords energy in you. And this could be a relationship with like an Aries Mars or Aries Venus. Mm -hmm. Where they like they like the conquest and they like the um, even the tussle here. This is that fighting. This is often quarreling, you know, in a relationship. Remember I said like bickering about little things. Like, why why did you leave this soap off? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you put the towels over here? Mm -hmm. And just, but it's usually uh, belay some um, 
underneath that's uh, stronger energy. But boy, you have a strong sense here that you're rising up to meet your destiny, your fortune here. And you know, usually it's true when you see this. I almost look at this as something standing in the way. This is like uh, either some part of you that's standing in the way that's really stubborn and kind of immature, honestly. Some what? Stubborn. Some no, body. no. Part of them. Uh -huh. An aspect of the Pisces themselves uh -huh. that's kind of standing in the way of, of your destiny here. You know? Uh, because here's your outcome. These five of wands and mm -hmm. arguments and actions that are combative. Um, I don't know, uh, clarify, and then confusion on top of that, five of wands, seven of cups, so um, here's our win. Um, and um, so I think there's something, this is something about you, Pisces, that I'm going to clarify too and see if I can get an idea, because as you try to move forward in a relationship, it's like you're blocking your own, you're blocking your own destiny. And it's something to do about thinking, maybe, you know, swords or thoughts. So wow. some of you might consider a little thing, but maybe it's like negative thinking. It's kind of, I call them the creepy. Uh, but he's not creepy if you want to be positive. He's determined, he's like, look, he's like, mm, you're not coming past me. So, the tower, okay. Yeah. So, uh, there's something that needs a fall. I mean, mm -hmm. it sounds simplistic, but because you can't have your destiny, your world can't, the wheel can't turn for you if you're artificially keeping something up. So, there's something you're keeping up, and you know what it is. It has to come down so that you can move forward. And, it's, and it's, all that it hinges on is a way of thinking, I think, with you, Pisces. You know, and then that would just change all of this, you know. Um, it may involve, though, uh, really working at uh, battling a little and through confusion, uh, battling through confusion, you know, to get to your other person where you can just see them. Right now, it's like they're not even here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like they're coming, they're promised. Mm -hmm. But, and again, place to look for the reading for the end of March. And thank okay. you. And uh, we'll have um, four Pisces coming up Saturday, the April beating, you know. Um, so, and that's that. Thank okay, you guys. Amigos, like thank us you if you do like it, please. Watching us. Watch us. Mm -hmm. Watching us. Watching us. Mm -hmm.